seeing in this passage, is he? While in today's world we understand that the Magi, the wise men, were scholars from a foreign country, their traditional title was kings. Maybe part of the reason earlier generations saw them that way was because they fulfilled those characteristics. Those characteristics. They were centered on finding Messiah. They lived integrity. When asked by Herod what they wanted, they told him. They told him without hesitation. They told a man who was a known murderer of anyone who even wanted power. They tell this guy, hey, hey King Herod, hey King Herod, we're here because the king of the Jews has been born. Very dangerous statement. They had integrity. They said it when it wouldn't have been a bit popular. These wise men, these kings, provided gifts that would have sustained the Holy Family. And they protected Jesus by obedience to what God had revealed to them. God said, don't go back to Herod. Another very dangerous move to disobey a king who killed his own sons and wives because he feared so much. They disobeyed him completely and took a different route home. These wise men from the East left a legacy. A legacy that we read year after year after year at Christmas time or Epiphany. A legacy of leaving. They left their home. They left their country. They left their native language to follow a star and worship Messiah. Jesus. But there's more here in this passage, the rest of the story. There's a final king in this text, verses 1 and 2. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born? King. King of the Jews. For we observed his star and its rising and have come to pay him homage. Jesus is the king. He is the paramount chief, one that holds a preeminent position. Jesus left heaven and emptied himself of his godhood and was born poor and helpless and laid in a cow's feeding trough or a sheep feeding trough. Now, I grew up on a farm. I don't know a whole lot about sheep and cows, but like I said last week, I know about chickens, and I know what a chicken feeding trough smells like. And to think our Savior left heaven and was born and laid in a feeding trough. He grew up and gave us an example of what humanity should look like. He was obedient unto death, even death on a cross. So we could be rescued from sin. So we could be reconciled with God Almighty who loves us and bestows mercy and grace and more mercy and grace. He was resurrected to life so we could have new life and life eternal. He ascended to intercede with the Father on our behalf every moment. Every second, Jesus Christ is interceding for us. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit so that all who make the decision to follow Him, He lives in them. He lives in us. He lives in us. We are His children. Jesus is the King. And one day, His second advent is going to happen. It is going to happen. And sin and the devil will be banished and His kingdom and dominion will rule, reign forever. 
That's the king. So just between you and me, when I got to this part of the sermon, I had to say maybe, in reality, only Jesus can really say in the answer to the king, that's my line. Jesus may be the only one who can rightfully say that. Is he your king? Is he your king? Not just something you know about in some sweet story and some hope for faith, but is he your king? And that gracious king loves each of us, knows us, and lives in us. And this King Jesus is a servant king. And we see his servanthood every single time we come to the Lord's Supper. Every time we come to this table, King of the universe Jesus is also the servant king. He serves us time and time and time again. The Lord himself ordained this holy sacrament. He commanded his disciples to partake of the bread and wine, emblems of his broken body and shed blood. This is his table. Let all those who have with true repentance forsaken their sins and have believed in Christ unto salvation. Bowed our hearts to the King. Draw near and take these emblems and by faith partake of the life of Jesus. Let all who are seeking to know Jesus, like the wise men, come and receive with an asking heart. Everyone in attendance is invited to participate. You will find the element packets in the glass bowl on your pew. 